What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jalicia, and I'm back, and I'm better with another video. If it's your first time watching me, hello. My name is Jalicia. I make amazing videos. My camera is about to die, so let's get into the video. Hey, you guys. So in today's video, I will be doing a wig transformation, y'all. I'm so excited to show y'all my process through me transforming my wig from blonde to blue. Right now, I'm just showing y'all the inside of it just so y'all can see it. The only downside to this wig is that it comes with one comb. That's the only thing I really don't like about the wig. Other than that, I love everything about the wig. It doesn't shed a lot, and I always get this same blonde hair from the same company and they have not disappointed me at all at all so right now i'm just going in with my shampoo this shampoo is a lightning shampoo um i don't know if y'all know but i hate when your closure is it, like if you color it your closure comes out a different color than your weave like the bundles so i go in with this right here just to make sure that it's not you know a different color or anything like all the colors the same done doing that y'all i'm now about to go in with my color so i did the watercolor method y'all and i love how with this wig the color takes immediately with this wig after i shampooed it and everything it took so nicely with this wig y'all and you see like it just looked it so amazing and off camera y'all i did let my wig just sit in the water for about five to ten minutes i just let it see it just to make sure it got all the color on there um because i just wanted to make sure the whole thing was colored i did not want to see any kind of blonde so i just set it in there for a little while and this is how the color came out y'all i really was not feeling it i wasn't a fan of this color i liked it but it wasn't the color that i really wanted I was going for more of like a winter blue, so I really felt like I had to go in with another color. I bought another color, so I went in with that color as well, because I just really didn't like it. Now, I did shampoo this hair. This is the shampoo I use for all my wigs. It's amazing, 100%. I definitely love the company when it comes to like my wigs and stuff. That is the shampoo to go to. Now, I did really take my time and just shampoo this wig and make sure it was really good. Just, you know, so on the dye or nothing get in my head. So I had to shampoo it really good. But I did not like the color, y'all. The color gave me definite purple. Like a little bit on the camera, y'all can't see it as much, but it definitely gave me purple. And I wasn't going for purple in this video. I was going for like a blue, but like a winter blue, not too light, not too dark, but just like in the middle. So I definitely loved how it turned out once I went in with the next color. I don't know if y'all can really see it on the camera, but in person, it was giving me light purple with a hint of silver in it. So I just didn't like it and I feel like the color didn't take as well. So I went in with a darker color. Okay, y'all, so this is the blue that I really, really liked. I love that I end up getting two different colors, y'all, because like I said, the first one was just not doing it for me. But when it came out this time, y'all, I loved, loved the color. And y'all, when y'all see it in the light, it's just going to look so much more beautiful. 
I did the watercolor method on this time again. And when I did the watercolor this time, y'all just set it in there a little while longer like I did the last one. But I did it off camera. I shampooed the hair off camera y'all and this is what it turned out like it's so pretty so i went in with some leave-in conditioner weave out and then i went in with some heat protecting spray because i'm always trying to protect my wigs always baby i use my wigs all the time so i always go in with some heat protecting spray when i'm about to style it and wigs out just you know to make sure i'm making sure the quality of the hair is staying up. So I'm just gonna go in and curl the hair y'all the curls are so pretty i love curling my hair i love it and i got this curling one from the beauty supply store y'all years years ago and this is my favorite favorite one so please do not sleep on the beauty supply store when it comes to wands curlers flat irons they usually have great ones in there as well um and they're inexpensive i think i only pay twenty dollars for these and i've been having them for years and they still work amazingly and y'all i did not even notice but till the end of the video that i had on blue the whole time i did a blue wig i had on blue gloves i had on a blue shirt and i had on blue shorts y'all it was just so funny to me i was like wow you got on blue the whole time sis Hello, Tom says. But yeah, y'all, it's just really cute. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure y'all comment down below what's the next color y'all want to see, you know? Because I think the next one I'm going in for is purple or red. I haven't decided yet. So y'all let me know down in the comment section which one would y'all rather see, purple or red? Because I can give y'all either one. As y'all can see, I'm just pulling the curls apart. I feel like this just makes the wig look more bouncy and everything and just give more body to it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just going in, unraveling the curls that and just came out so pretty. They came out so pretty, y'all. I love the color. The color is very winter wonderland. It's giving me icy, icy. Tap, tap, tap in on the ice. Like, definitely icy. So after I go in doing that, I just go on my flat on a little bit just to make sure you still see a part. Because y'all gonna see a part. Period. 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 Y'all are gonna see a part, y'all. I love going in just making sure that middle is just flat. Flat as hell. I hate when my hair be bumpy at the top. It be looking a fool. So I always go in and do that. And then after I get done with that, y'all, I'm finna just go in with my spray, my holding spray, cause this is gonna be held. These curls I work so hard on, they are going to be holding, y'all. I'm just going with this other stuff. I have no idea what the name of it is, but it keeps the flyaways away, baby. No flyaways over here. Then I go in with my olive oil, y'all, just to put some shine on the hair, you know what I mean? Just get the hair a little glitz and a little glam. And after that, y'all, I'm kind of done styling it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, 
the video because y'all see that I work so hard on it. So make sure you like it. And also comment down below if you want to see purple or red um, wig that I will do next. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know if you like the color down in the comments. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Oh.